you need to know a couple things. For example, the buffer will always have a slash n at the end as a new line, which is actually other character codes mixed into one. Um, so we can test for that. So while we can test for that, you can test for other things as well. But if you don't reach the end of your buffer, it's not good. So we we know that the enter key will always be at the very end of the buffer. So that's what we're going to test for. Um, we need to know what we're doing. We're going to be testing for things like white space characters, numerical digits, alphanumeric digits, punctuation marks, and anything else which we can call miscellaneous. Um, we basically take a string and we are going to count the number of each ones and then output it at the end uh, as a demonstration for the header file. So let's, let's start there. Let's start with the header files. The first thing we know we're going to do is we're going to be outputting to the screen. So let's uh, get IO stream up there. And this is a tutorial on a few of the basic functions in the CC type. So we might as well put that there as well. Um, for now, that's all we're going to need. Now let's put using namespace standard library. Okay, um, this can go here. Normally, you'd want it in the function body you're using it, so it should normally go down here. But we'll put it up here. It's only a small tutorial program. You can do each one individually so as to avoid naming convention problems down the road. However, uh, we don't need to worry about that. Let's let's get to our program. All right. The first thing that we want to do is get um get our input. So let's put that. Enter a string to analyze. All right. Let's put a period on that. Uh, we'll go to the next line. All right, and then we'll put um, put this. So it'll be a question mark and the greater than, kind of like some Linux systems and that function. Okay, now we're gonna need a few variables. All right, now let's start the buffer. Let's fill it. Okay, that's gonna fill the buffer and get the first character. So now we want to make a basic while loop. Now a while loop tests the conditions at the beginning of every iteration of the loop, whereas a do while loop tests it at the end. So you can, we could do it either way. It's not hard, um, but we're gonna do it at the beginning because we've gotten it before the loop. So we'll test at the beginning. Um, a little bit of coding change, and you can do it either way. Do whatever is comfortable to you. For purposes of this tutorial, I'd probably just stick to this. If you need practice, you could do it later. Um, single quote, not double, because we're testing for a single character on the, on, on the buffer. And we're going to do it as long as it's not the enter key. So it'll go through the whole buffer. Right? Just like that. Okay, now what we want to do is do if, else if, uh, block. So if if it's alpha is alpha, see that is the alpha numeric, and then you want to put the character in there. If it's alpha, then we want to increment the according variable for that. Else, if because we have more than one, we're not doing two things, so we can't just do if and else. We can do else if pretty much as many times as we want, and the last one will be else. But we're doing else if, um, if it's a space, we'll say space, is a space, then white space, like we put up there. All right. Else if is a digit, if it's a number, else if if it's punctuation okay and the last one we would just put else not else if we don't actually need to put this this here because if all others fail then we'll just 
just put miscellaneous. That's what it is. Okay? Simple as that. Now, it's going to hit one of those regardless. So what we want to do is because we're doing our while loop check at the beginning, get the next one, take the next character off the buffer, and end the loop. So no matter how many characters you put in there on the buffer, it's going to run through this, do the counting, so on and so forth. Now let's get some input, some output on that. See what's going on. Let's create a blank line to put a space between our line and what's being output. So now let's do count characters. Okay. Chars. And the line. We're going to do it for all of them so we can see what's going on. Now, just notice I'm putting the double line because you can't put that there like that. It won't work. Um, you need to do the interrupt like that. And then put misc. These are little things you should know. I'm just giving a quick rundown. And then return to the operating system, which was put in there for us. Alright, let's give that a shot. <laughs> see what's going on. Let's see if there's any bugs. I might have missed something. Oh, that's good. So now what we want to do is input a string to analyze the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Enter. There's the output. In that string there's 36 characters, there's 8 spaces, 4 punctuations, there's one there, there's 3 at the end, so on and so forth. Uh, we can run it again. We can put the 49ers are doing poorly this year. There we go again. We have two digits, 49, so on and so forth. And it's basically um, just a parser, checks your string, what you got. Um, you can turn this into a class, do various other things with it. Um, what I suggest is you type it yourself see how it works, mess around with it. Um, there is a few other functions that you can do. I'm going to type them up. They're not going to actually be part of the program, so pay attention. Okay, what, what the ones that I know of and that I use is too lower. Returns a character type. It converts. If you pass along a character to it and that character is uppercase, it's going to return the lowercase version. The same one will happen with two upper lowercase it's going to convert it to an upper right um what else was there if oh there's a hexadecimal one is hex digit so that means one through nine zero and a through f will return a true value it was a true one um if, if the argument is a control character Control um, is blank if there's a space or a tab or anything like that. Like a, a basic white space is blank. Um, mess around with those, see what you get. Um, what I would do is try converting strings from upper to lower as practice. What you see here, you should probably type out print it, type it and print it, look over it, and keep it in your library for future reference. Uh, keep an eye on the thousands of other tutorials we'll be coming out with in the time to come. And if you have any questions, just ask down below. Thank you.